you won't be doing this entirely by yourself. Who, who's going to help you? So we've got a council, and the council is a, a diverse, broad range of people from all around the world who I've been talking to over the last few weeks and months. We've got a really, really fantastic council together. Naoka, good morning or good evening? Uh, good morning, Prince William. Indra, good afternoon. Hello. Very nice to meet you. If I, if I waffle on, just tell me to stop. <laughs> I was hearing and reading it, um, how many boards you're on, Dr. Ngoz. You're a very busy lady. <laughs> I, I imagine you're the last person I need to explain the, the, where Earth shots come from. But what <laughs> motivates you personally to care for the planet and, and want to repair it? Well, it's been more than half a century since human beings reached space and even to the moon. However, the Earth is our only home planet. I personally feel that this is my duty as a citizen, as a human being, um, and as a mother of two young children, uh, to bring attention to this issue right now, before it's too late. There's no greater challenge, I don't think, facing us as a species than tackling climate change. Uh, it's a global challenge, and I think it's enormous, but I, I really do believe that we human beings are capable of so very much. Today, our shared environment is under strain. Here in the Middle East, temperatures are rising while water supplies are shrinking. And we're not alone. When it comes to the environment, every region is under threat. The question now is, what will be our future? And I'm hopeful. Because the future is these finalists, and so many like them around the world. They remind us that human ingenuity is the ultimate renewable resource. The fuel we need to save our planet rests in our own heads, hearts and hands. It's great to meet you both and, and thank you so much for agreeing to be part of the, the council. It's, it's fantastic to have not only two inspirational people who care an awful lot about the environment and, and the climate, but also, you know, young people. I, I'm not young anymore, so um, <laughs> it's nice to have you guys leading the charge. The story about the climate crisis appears like a bit of a story of a drowning ship, you know, like a linear story of how things are just going to get worse and worse and worse and worse until, you know, there's nothing left to fight for. And I think it's up to us to turn the story around of not that ship that is drowning, but of that ship that we are building. It's fantastic having someone from, you know, an island nation, where obviously a lot of, uh, of the effects will be felt by you guys more than, more than others. I'm tired of being told that you can't do something. We have 10 years basically to be able to turn this ship around. Using your analogy, a sinking ship is something that's actually going to take us on the next phase of, of the human race's journey. I'm so pleased you're both, you're both on board. You bring much needed youthfulness and expertise and activism to the, to the panel. The 15 finalists tonight include a truly extraordinary 15-year-old visionary in India, a forward-thinking city, teams working at the cutting edge of technology, and an entire country. They are already doing great work, and we will celebrate them all, as well as announce the five winners. They're all building optimism by finding innovative and brilliant solutions to the world's challenges. And they all give us hope, which we are told springs eternal. But we don't have eternity. We need to do this now and over the next 10 years. And if we do put our minds to it, I believe we can do that. We have to understand we are not only part of the nature, but we are nature. Nature is living element. For indigenous people, nature is whole. Our planet is alive. The rivers are her blood. The trees are her hair. The soil, her skin. The wind, her breeze. And indigenous peoples, our planet, they know they are the doctor. We are protecting 80% of the world's biodiversity because our way of life do not harm nature. At the opposite, we strengthen ecosystems. We improve biodiversity by cooperating with the birds and trees, listening to the winds, observing the cloud, learning from even the little insect. Congratulations on being one of the finalists. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you so if much. If you're not excited, I'm excited for you. <laughs> Congratulations. Congratulations on becoming a finalist for uh, the Earthshot Prize. 
heartfelt congratulations from the Prize Council um, on making the top 15 finalists. It's, a, it's an incredible feat. Thank you for having us here. We're absolutely humbled to, to be part of uh, this journey for, for Earthshot. When we got the, the call to say we were nominated and then a finalist, I thought, wow, like, <laughs> really? It's my hope the Earthshot legacy will continue to grow, helping our communities and our planet to thrive. And in the same way, the space effort six decades ago created jobs, boosted economies, and provided hope. So too can the solutions born of tonight's Earthshot Prize winners. The decisions we make now will affect generations to come, which is why we must choose the path of hope, optimism, and urgency to repair our planet. Thank you.